everyone. How are you all? I hope you all will be good. Okay. So today we are going to revise adverbs. Okay. So what is adverb? Adverb, uh, the word which adds more meaning. Okay. Or we which can do uh, the adjective adverb itself and uh, many more things to meaningful is called the adverb. Adverb basically adds meaning to the verb, adjective or adverb itself that is a adverb. Okay. So when I am saying that I, I sang sweet. So okay. So I sang sweetly. So it is more comfortable sentence. So I sang sweetly. So that ly, ily, ely, these all sentences are related to adverb. Okay. So there are certain kinds of adverb. Adverb of manner, adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of kind. So lots of kind of adverb. So we will read it next by one. That is so first we will do adverb. So there is a sentence. The girl sang sweetly, as I told you. I came so sweetly is is showing the adverb of manner, how she can do in this work. So she is doing, she is singing. I came yesterday. So it is showing the time, and of time. When did he came? He came yesterday. The boy reached there on time. So it is also uh, um, like showing time. So when did he reach? He reached on time. Ram finished his work quickly. How he finished his work? He finished his work quickly. So can you see there are certain things that have been shown in the four sentences? Okay. Next one. Now, as I told you, what is adverb? Adds meaning to a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It makes the sentence meaningful. Understood? So that is adverb. See, I came. I came yesterday. So can you see? I came yesterday. The boy ran. Okay, so another answer. So the boy ran fast. So how did the boy ran? He ran fast. It is showing the manner. Adverb of manner. The boy ran fast. So ran is doing the word very quickly. The adverb and fast. See two things. Adverb. That's true. Adjective. Loud, sweet, happy. So what will be the adverb of that? Loud, sweet, happy. Please see the video very attentively because I can give adjective to adverb. You have to. Uh, change that word into like, like I, I can give you the adjective like loud. So you have to do uh, you have to change that word into adverb. So how you, you will do loud, loudly, sweet, sweetly, happy, happily, sad, sadly like that. Understood? The word chirps loudly. How did the word, word chirps loudly? Understood? The winner celebrate happily. Can you see that words? So these all words are related to what? Yes. So let's move to the another kinds of adverbs. Okay. So uh, as I told you, there are some kinds of adverbs. So we have read adverb of manner. How the how that person or how the things are going. That was adverb of manner. It was showing it quickly, nicely, happily. So that was adverb of manner. Adverb of time we are doing right now tells where an action is done. So adverb of time is saying about the action is done on time. Okay. So what is that? The train leaves tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is showing the time. Tom should arrive soon. Soon is showing the time. Rahul had already left when I called. Already. The train arrived two hours late. Okay. So that are all words are related to adverb of time. See, late is has been highlighted there. Okay. Sachin goes to the temple daily. Daily. The bus from Mumbai to Goa is always late. Late. Okay. So these all all words are related to the adverb of time. I will never forget to do my homework. Never. Okay. See? Can you see? All the words are related to adverb of time. Time. So let's do go to the another adverb of kind of adverb. Okay. So let's start with the adverb of place. Tells where an action is done. So it is basically showing the place where has been action taken the place. Understood. Adverb of place. 
things. Here, there, where, everywhere, away. We all use that word to uh, show that place. Okay. To highlight that particular place. When, when I ask, where are you going? Okay. So, we are basically asking the question for where you are going. Okay. I am um, here. So, I am showing my place. I went there. So, I am showing that place. Understood? So, these all words are related to adverb of place. As I told you. Let's go to the activity. Where is the butterfly? Can you see? Okay, it is also showing the place. See, look, it is here. It is here. So it is showing the place. You can also see it there. Okay. So that palette words are related to the adverb of place. Oh, it's look everywhere. Everywhere this. Wherever you look, you will find it there. It's so everywhere. Okay. Like air is everywhere, oxygen is everywhere, like that. But when I go close to it, it flies far. If I go in place, then I am standing there and everything is there. So it is have a, uh, you have a very distance. There are wide distance. Okay. So that is far away. Where is the butterfly? Look, it is here. You can also see it there. Oh, it is, it is look everywhere. But when I go close to it, it flies away. Okay. When it go, goes to the far distance, that is away. Okay. It does not have to be. So these all are words related to that. Come dash, I need to talk you. So if I am telling come here, I need to talk you, then you will come closer to me. That is the right answer. So drag this to your So come here, I need to talk to you. Next one. I don't know where he lives. So I don't know where he lives. So where is the right answer? Where? You may sit dash in the balcony and study. You may sit here in the balcony. Here in the balcony and study. Ali has given dash on his old toes to the orphanage. So, Ali has given away. Okay. So, orphanage is not in Ali's home. That he has given his toys away. Okay. All his old toys to the orphanage. So, these all are toes related to adverb of place. Understood? So, we have read adverb of manner, adverb of time, adverb of place. I will give you some of the questions related to that and you can also write this question in your copy.